Welcome back. We learned how we can do function borrowing with apply and call. And we also learned how we can use bind to do the same thing and also call a function later on when we want to with a certain value to the this keyword. But there's one other useful trick that you can use with bind. And it's called function currying. Something that we're going to learn a lot more about in our functional programming section of the course. But you can do something interesting with the bind method. Let's say I had a function. And this function was called multiply. And it simply multiplies two numbers. So we just return a times b. Nice and simple. Now, currying refers to, well, only partially giving a function a parameter. Now, why would this be useful? Why would multiply 2 be more useful than just completing the entire parameter list? Well, because we can do something like this. We can have, let's say, a new variable multiply by 2. And this is going to use the multiply function. And I'm going to use bind method here that's going to bind to this. And what is this? Well, it's the window object. We don't really care. Because what we care about is giving the parameter to the multiply. So this is just an unintended consequence of using bind. We don't really care. So we're just going to leave it at this, the window object. But now, if I give it 2 here, and I Enter. Well, now I can run console.log multiply by 2. And if I run this, well, it's a function. It's returning for us a function that we can use later on. But it already has one of the parameters in it. So that if I run multiply by 2, let's say multiply by 2, number 4, which will be the second parameter, and I run this, I get 8. How cool is that? I created a new function called multiply by 2 that multiplies anything by 2 by giving it the first parameter to be 2. So that I can keep doing this, right? I can create another function. Let's say multiply by 10. And this gets a parameter of 10. So that when I multiply by 10, I get 40. How cool is that? This is something that we're going to learn a little bit more when we get into currying videos. But I was able to reuse a piece of code, give it a partial parameter, and create these functions that are extensible, that are more specific, such as multiply by 2 or multiply by 10. I hope this gets you as excited as it gets me. I think it's really, really cool. And an interesting concept of bind. All right, I went on a bit of a tangent here. But I'll see you for some exercises in the next video.